And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we saw a pretty nice day today. No ounce of tropical storms or depressions throughout Greater Lafayette. That was good news for us. Plenty of sunshine throughout the region. That allowed temperatures to warm up a tad. And it's also thanks to a round of higher pressure off to the northeast, now over parts of Vermont and New Hampshire. This high pressure system uh, responsible for all the cool conditions we saw earlier on in the week. Now that's pushing off to the east. That will bring some southerly winds back to the region. You pair that with a round of higher pressure, or lower pressure, I should say, off across parts of the Dakotas. This low will bring not only the southerly winds, but also rain chances in the coming days as well. So we're looking at additional rain chances going ahead in that forecast. Today, warmer as well uh, as uh, pretty comfortable throughout the region. Temperatures throughout the Midwest, uh, 77 Madison, still up to around 87 in uh, St. Louis. That's where you're seeing more of the southerly wind flow, more of that heat and humidity. Back here out east in Indiana, Terre Haute, 82 here in Lafayette, a temperature of 78 degrees. We're still seeing the low 80s in some spots, 82 Crawfordsville, 81 right now in Remington. Plenty of sunshine, a couple light scattered clouds here and there throughout the region. So far, high temperature of this day, 78 degrees, right on average for this time of the year. We find ourselves at that temperature right now as well. Winds from the east, about five miles per hour. Now, we did begin the morning, a very nice, cool morning at that, seeing temperatures fall as low as about 61 in Lafayette. We began this morning with northeasterly winds around five to 10 miles per hour. The winds have slowed, but they've also shifted and that's kind of a preview of things to come. We're eventually going to see those southerly winds return as that low pressure system inches its way towards us. So you can see the warm front to the north, the cold front to our west and this outflow boundary, this line of shower and thunderstorm activity rolling southeastward towards us. That will fizzle out before it reaches us, but that's that same frontal boundary that will generate shower and storm chances for your Friday afternoon and evening. Danny Little setting in the beautiful backdrop for your snapshot forecast this evening. 75 degrees by 7, falling off to around 65 degrees by midnight. Winds will be from the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the evening hours. We'll dip all the way back down to around 59 in West Lafayette overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. 61, your overnight low temperature in Crawfordsville. Tomorrow, we're looking at a dry start to the day. Some scattered cloud cover a possibility, but notice the line of shower and thunderstorm activity. We'll first see some cluster of showers and storms begin to develop across parts of eastern Missouri and western Illinois. That'll be just ahead of the cold front. That will shift northeastward into the region, reaching our northwestern counties as early as about 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. After that point, scattered shower on and off pop up shower and thunderstorms will be a possibility with the outflow boundary, but that cold front is not expected to reach us until early Saturday morning. That's when we can see additional chances of showers and thunderstorms. So 80 on Friday, 79 on Saturday. Going ahead in the forecast, things dry out and we're looking pretty nice. A high temperature of 78 on Sunday, Monday 80, back up to 80 on Tuesday as well. Jeff, we do warm up on Wednesday and Thursday, back down into the lower 80s, 81, your high temperature Wednesday, Thursday to wrap up that forecast, 83. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Kim. Just to head along.